All right, we are about to get started here with the finals for the amateur bracket for season 10. Um, this is going to be Jincito playing Crane versus Rialto playing Phoenix. Seems good. Uh, Phoenix is splashing, wow. Splashing Crane actually for Soul Beyond Approach and above question, interesting. Um, and then Crane is splashing Unicorn for the Talisman Spyglass Wayfinder combo. Definitely some unusual decks here. Let's see how this goes. Um, so we see, wow, Forgotten Library, Uona, Kaede, and Fire Tensai Initiate. And then there's a Keeper Initiate, Storehouse, um, Narishma, and Yoshi. Not really a great flip for Crane here. Uh, you don't really want to play Yoshi turn one. You could just play Narishma and then use the Storehouse and flip one of those cards. <clears throat> Possibly not in that order. Need to get the chat open on my phone. Fire Tensai Initiate with zero fate. There's the Nourishma also with zero fate. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. Nope. So Phoenix should be able to get passing fate, right? You could probably even play Uona and still get it, although Crane might take it if he has a political rival or something like that to play. Ooh, Storehouse is gonna be used, and Nourishma reveals another Nourishma, so he's just gonna get to put another fate on his character there. I guess it's not the worst thing that could happen. Uh, Phoenix actually doesn't play another character, just gonna take that passing fate. Why do you run the Fire Tensai Initiate? Let me look at the deck list again. Way of the Chrysanthemum Waning Hostilities. Man, these decks are crazy. Winds of Change. I literally forgot that that was a card. This is going to be something. I'm still not sure why he's running the initiate. Seems kind of weird. But oh well. So Phoenix going to pass the first conflict. Let's see if Crane attacks here. Ooh, there's the political rival. Um... Hmm. Like, I feel like you just want Earth, right? It's gonna go for Fire, actually. Finds Manicured Garden under that library there, so if, if he can break this, that would be pretty good. Get rid of that library. Uh, we do see an ornate fan. Ooh, 
Ooh, Seeker of Knowledge played into the conflict. But it immediately gets bowed by the Crane Stronghold. Still six fate left for Phoenix. I'm actually like really not sure what the win condition for Phoenix is. Like he has all of these air cards, it seems like. Maybe he's trying to get some kind of Kaede Seeker of Knowledge synergy. I don't know, it's it's a little bit strange. Uh we see a policy debate on the rival and the secret knowledge. So Crane is gonna win that. Let's see what we have in the hand. Above question, Benton's touch, clarity of purpose. Three, embrace the void. Wow. That's a lot. Um, Ofushikai, Walking the Way, and Way of the Chrysanthemum. Yeah, so like I, I feel like the Phoenix player is going for some kind of honor run deck here, because he has all these Seeker of Knowledge. He has that card that returns the air ring to the pool. It's, it's definitely a weird deck, and he has the Way of the Chrysanthemum as well. Um, I don't think you discard that. I don't think you really care about it too much. Could discard Clarity. Wow, he discards Ofushikai, actually. Um, yeah, I guess that's fine. I don't think he has... He's Unicorn Splash, so I don't think he actually has any attachment control on his deck, and that is a one-times Ancestral card, so just get rid of that now, and then you don't have to deal with it ever. Um, so that is going to be the break on Manicured Garden. He dishonors the Fire Tensai Initiate with the Firing... So it's going to be minus one honor, so it'll make it a little bit harder for Phoenix to honor out here, if that is what he's going for. And Phoenix is going to pass the conflict again, so we see an air attack this time at Upholding Authority. So yeah, you probably just defend this so you don't lose the honor. No point not defending. Um, if you double storm, that would be enough. No, I wouldn't, because you're dishonored. Yeah, so just going to pass. Let a polling break. Um, so Crane, only six cards in hand, but you'll still get to discard something good here, hopefully. Crane is going to get the Keeper Initiate, though. So yeah, things are already looking pretty bad for Phoenix, although he is up six fate. But this Kaede will get discarded here. Uh, discards Talisman of the Sun. That's pretty good. Find Katana, two Wayfinders, Spyglass, Stuart, and Talisman. So you could have actually hit double Wayfinder there. Uh, but Talisman is definitely a really strong card. And again, no attachment control in either of these decks, I think. Unless he has Mia Mystic or something. So getting rid of a Talisman is always good. Uh, I'm going to play one of those Embrace the Voids on the Political Rival just to get some extra fate since he has three of those in his hand. Am I connected to chat here? Okay, nobody's saying anything. That's what's happening. Yeah, so again, the only thing Phoenix really has going for them right now is this very large fate lead. Um, so we'll need to see maybe, like, some big characters to play here. Stream down. Is the stream down? Hold on. Don't know what's going on out there. It looks up to me. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, 
Uh, we do see a, Tsuk a Tsukune here, and he has a dupe for that as well. He can also play this Kaede with two fate and have two really big characters. The problem is both of those characters uh, get potatoed pretty hard by Dishonor. So I wouldn't mind playing the Uona instead. Refresh fixed? Okay, good. Yeah, if the stream's ever not working, uh, definitely try refreshing it before resorting to other measures because occasionally that will fix it. Um, so Crane is a little bit afraid of that way of the Chrysanthemum in hand, so he's actually going to drop his bid to three. Phoenix just bids five again, though. Yeah, like, honestly, I would have just bid five there, I think, right? Like, um, he only had nine honor. If you bid one to five and he played away the Chrysanthemum, he's going up eight. He's at 17. Yeah, I guess that's a little bit scary. Ooh, he has before the throne, too. So, yeah, I, this three bid is fine, actually. Uh, Tsukune gets sacked. Oh, yeah, Noble Sack. He doesn't have it in hand unless he drew it. He only drew three cards this turn. And he didn't have an honor. He didn't have a noble sack. So it will potentially be kind of difficult to get the noble sack off here. But we'll see if he can do that. He would probably need to have a way the crane in hand and then get a firing and then also have the noble sack which is kind of unlikely. He does have the Yoshi with favor, though. Uh, so he's going to get to draw three more cards, which makes that a little bit more likely. If Takune gets Noble Sacked, then the game is just literally over, right? Like, Phoenix is already so far behind. Ooh, he plays a Waning Hostilities. Okay, so that's actually good. Uh, that has synergy with Sukune. And it means that the damage Crane can do here is minimal. Probably will just break one province. Like, you can't stop him from breaking a province, can you? Uh, but the good thing is, as long as Tsukune survives here, you're going to get basically two ring effects of your choice, minus the one that Crane takes. Um, which is pretty good. You could void political rival and honor Tsukune. You could... Oh, Phoenix has Soul Beyond Approach in his deck as well. So if Tsukune gets dishonored, he can play that. Uh, as long as cancels aren't turned on. Yeah, so it looks like Crane is going to go for the void ring. Getting your political rival voided is just... You, you just don't want that to happen. Um... If Phoenix has a Cloud in hand, I think we will see Cloud played on Yoshi to bow the political rival. That way he won't draw any more cards. And you could potentially even defend that. Uh, Crane should just break Before the Throne, right? Yes. He is going to go to Before the Throne. Uh, that's it's Seeker Fate, but who cares? <clears throat> So yeah, he needs to have the cloud. If he has the cloud, he can prevent the break, potentially. Oh wait, no, political favor. So that still won't be enough. Um, Supernatural Storm, maybe, we'll see. He definitely wants to have the cloud here, though. Clouding Yoshi is really good. Um, he's going to play a Clarity of Purpose. Okay, that's fine. That means he can't box you. We see Yoshi get used. Going to draw three cards. So you can still cloud him for the bow if you want. Um, that would be fine. Ooh, he can, or he can play the Walking the Way. That works also. Uh, let's see what he finds here. Bows the political rival. Make 
make sure I'm not. Yep. Finds an ethereal dreamer. Okay. Spidus Cloud, I'm, I don't think I've seen you on Twitch before. Are you on the Discord? Anyway, how's it going? Uh, welcome to the stream. We see Favorable Ground going to move in a Wayfinder for the break. We see Court Games to honor a friendly character. To honor that Seeker of Knowledge. Oh, we played at... Uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Were you, which one were you? Were you the the scorpion or the crane or someone else? You were the crane, okay. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, so for shame, gonna uh, dishonor Seeker of Knowledge here. So yeah, Phoenix definitely wants to prevent the break if he can. Um, we'll see if he has another card. Currently, not really anything he wants to use this stronghold on. Uh, again, if he has like Supernatural Storm, that would be good. Ooh, okay, he's going to Benton's Touch. That works as well. So again, Crane needs another card here. Um, I have to imagine he has a way to honor Yoshi here, right? Like, he drew six cards this turn. I think one was for shame. If he doesn't have a way of the Crane or a Court Games, that's pretty unlucky. Although, why do you favorable ground in the Wayfinder, I guess, if you have that? I'm not sure. Maybe he just doesn't have anything. Um, he is still winning the conflict, so he will get to void Uona here. Ooh. We see a spyglass on Yoshi, so that... That feels pretty bad. That takes his last fate, and he had to play it during the conflict. He probably drew it when he used Yoshi's ability, or just didn't want to play it beforehand because he thought he could break. But yeah, either way, that it's not really what you want to have to do here. Um, if if I'm Phoenix and I don't have any more cards that I can play here. I would consider playing the Benton's Touch again to honor Tsukune. Like, what else are you going to do with your Stronghold this turn? Right? Cheering on the London meta. Um, are these players both from London? Or is one of them from London? I'm not sure. Um, I'm not really... I, I don't think I've ever seen this Phoenix player before. I have seen the Crane player, I think. Maybe. I've definitely streamed one or two of his games in the amateur bracket. Oh, Benten's only honors participating? Yeah, that's true. Rip. Ooh. Wow, he play he replays Walking the Way and finds Kanjo District. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the favor, but that is going to prevent the break. And it definitely seems like Crane doesn't have any more cards to play here, or he would have just played them instead of Spyglass. Uh, Crane is from London. Okay, that's cool. Cheer for Crane, but Phoenix is so behind that I want to see a comeback. Yeah. Phoenix definitely in a tough spot right now, but if he can prevent this break, that's pretty good. He could potentially even then get favor this turn. No, he would just tie favor. Unless he has against the waves. If he has against the waves, he can actually take favor. Oh, wait, he clarityed. 
Okay, this is good. Uh, I would actually just not attack, I think. Yeah, you just don't attack. You have five glory to four. Three plus a ring. Yeah. So yeah, I would just not attack here and take the favor. And then you get two rings with Sukune. Crane has no fate, so what's he going to do about it? Uh, you could consider attacking with the Seeker of Knowledge, go for a political attack. The only problem is, like, you know, if you find, like, Shameful Display, then that's bad, right? So, yeah, definitely, yeah, it looks like he is going to pass his conflict. Um... Unfortunately, since Crane did take the Void Ring, he won't be able to Void off this political rival. There's Embrace the Void on Tsukune. Seems good. Uh, so yeah, he'll get to resolve the Fire and Earth Rings here. believe that will be the choice. Uh, let me check real quick. Does... Yeah, okay. Crane has two Soul Beyond Approach. So I would just honor Tsukune with the firing because you don't want to turn on soul beyond approach for him right uh discards the spyglass that's that's pretty good and yeah he's gonna honor tsukune gets two fate with those embrace the void so he still has a six fate lead and he does have the favor so things might actually go back in phoenix's favor now uh no pun intended um this Sukune is like really big still, and Imperial Favor to deal with some of these Crane characters is going to be good. Plus, he still has that huge fate advantage. Uh, unfortunately, he only finds two small characters here. I think he'll just play them both with some fate. Ooh, does Crane have Assassinate? He has one Assassinate. But does Phoenix have Censure? No. Yeah, so a little bit risky here. Um, Crane has all the honor in the world. So he can just assassinate whoever he wants. I guess Phoenix has all the fate, though, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, I think you play Solemn Scholar, and then you try and get the Earth Ring on your first attack. That seems good. You have, like, you have Conjure District, so you're probably going to be able to get the Earth Ring. The only problem is if you hit like Shameful or something, you could just go Ethereal Dreamer and then go Military so the rival can't defend. We'll see. Ooh, Phoenix actually passed. No, 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 Crane passed. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, definitely an interesting game uh, so far. Like I was saying earlier, both of these decks are pretty unorthodox, uh, especially the Phoenix one. The Crane one is not too unusual. It's just that you don't really see the Keeper of Error Unicorn Splash as much as the classic Seeker of Error. Yeah, we do see the Solemn Scholar. But the Crane deck is really wild. Like, he's running Tensai Initiate. He's running Kaede. Um... Walking the Way, Waning Hostilities, he has one Ofushikai, Tsukune, all kinds of interesting stuff. Way of the Chrysanthemum. Definitely an unusual deck. Does Crane one run Peasant's Advice? Yeah, there... Wait, is it Crane who runs it? No. No, that was that was in the, the earlier game today. Yeah, these decks were submitted before Peasant's Advice was legal, right? So yeah, no peasants advice here. But yeah, uh in the the game that I streamed earlier today, one of the dragon players was actually running one peasants advice. We didn't see it during the game, but yeah, so th this conjo district on before the throne. I mean, it's super farmable at least, so Crane can just attack for free for the rest of the game, but it's going to be extremely difficult to break this. And as long as Phoenix can keep getting favor, this Conjure District is going to be super annoying. 
to deal with. Um, so Crane's still afraid of that way of the Chrysanthemum. At some point here, you just have to say, like, I don't care and just bid five. Right? Like, Phoenix only has six honor. If he, even if he five to ones and plays away the Chrysanthemum, he's only going to 14, which is still, like, way out of range of an honor victory. So I wouldn't really be too worried about that. Um, so Crane didn't play any characters, and yeah, we see Ethereal Dreamer used on the Earth Ring, so I think we will see the Ethereal Dreamer do a military Earth attack. And then you just hope you don't find Shameful, so he doesn't get to honor Yoshi. Ooh, above question on Sukune. Interesting. Above question only works on events. Ooh, wow, he plays one on Solemn Scholar as well. So Solemn Scholar can't get assassinated now. Um, but yeah, above question only works on events. So if he like runs into Shameful with Sukune, that won't do anything to stop it. Uh, but it does mean Sukune can't be for shamed, can't be noble sacked. Um, so that's pretty good. Shoot says, I think I played with this Phoenix earlier on Jigoku and beat him. Well, I guess we should declare you the winner of the amateur bracket then, right? Ooh, he does find Shameful Display. Yeah, so that's that's actually pretty unfortunate. <laughs> uh, it's probably fine, though. Like, he gets to honor Yoshi, but then you just send him home with Kanjo. So, it's it's fine. Yeah, so, ooh, wait, it's political? Wait, why didn't he go military? Hmm, yeah, I don't know about this. I mean, sending Tsukune in the first place is weird, but then also going political is pretty weird as well. Yeah, he can clarity. That's true. Where is it? There it is. Um, yeah, I think he will clarity, but we will see the shameful display on Yoshi and Sukune here, which is a pretty big swing, a three glory character and a four glory character. Going to be trading honor, so that's pretty big. Uh, he has a court games, though, so he's just going to re-honor his Sukune, unless it gets voice of honored, sure. <laughs> Defender 18, wow, that's insane. Two characters. Political is correct. If he's using Sukune, okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's fair, because then if he... That, that forces the political rival to defend, right? Because if he wins this and gets the Earth Ring, then political rival can't attack. And because this is his political attack, political rival can't defend again this turn, so... Yeah, so you don't really need to win this, I guess. I think he's I think he will still use Conjure District. Uh because getting the Earth Ring is always good. And he can probably even break this, right? See a pass. Gonna play the clarity now, I think. Only cares about void this round. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah, so he does play the Clarity Purpose. Like, what's Phoenix going to do, though, if you get this Earth Ring, right? Like, you just conjure him here. If there's another rival in hand, then you don't care, because you get the Earth Ring, and then you just uh, bow it with Solemn Scholar. Ooh, he didn't use it. Don't you lose to political rival in hand now? Like, the political rival in hand is literally the reason to use... Oh, no, because you still have Conjo. But, like, if you use Conjo there, then he either has to play the rival from hand to defend, in which case that's fine. 
or he has to just not play it because if he attacks he gets bowed I don't know I'm not really sure why you don't conjo that like what else are you going to use conjo for this turn unless he plays a conflict character and if he does play a conflict character then it would have been just as good to get the earth ring there We'll see. Um, you could just pass your conflict as Phoenix. Although then if he goes void, that's probably off the table. Yeah, there's the political rival. So this is actually bad now. Because he can attack with political rival, and then once he gets conjoed, he will play a conflict character. Ooh, Cloud the Mind. Okay, that's good. So now he can defend at least. <laughs> he has another political rival. Yeah, so this this is this is getting bad pretty fast. Uh Crane is out of fate now, but he can get fate off of like the water ring or something. Ooh, another Cloud the Mind, though. Okay, so this, this might be okay for Phoenix. That is all three political rivals. Ooh, okay, he has Against the Waves. He's going to ready Solemn Scholar here. So now he can go ahead and attack. He can go Military Void. Yeah, that's pretty safe, because he's spent all his fate. Yeah, you just go Military Void here. Wait. Oh no, it's uh, Crane's attack. And he's actually gonna go water, interesting. Yeah, that makes sense, it has two fate on it. I, I was thinking it was Phoenix's attack for some reason, but Crane didn't pass his conflict. Uh, he can just Sukune the Void, yeah, that's true, but only if Crane doesn't end up taking it. Crane still has another conflict after this. Um, but you should be able to conjure that one unless he has like two, two stewards of law or something and just blank it. Uh, what happened? Nothing happened. We see Phoenix pass. Let's see what Crane has. He can't. Target Sukune with any events because of that above question. So that is just going to be a win for Phoenix there. Um, so now what does he do? If he attacks here and then Phoenix has... I guess... Or, or, sorry, Crane... I guess that would be pretty unlikely that Crane would have two one-cost conflict characters. But if he does, then you would potentially only get one ring off of Sukune. It's going to be a good ring no matter what, though, right? It's going air. So air is good. That means no keeper initiates for Crane. He does have to win this conflict, though. If Crane actually somehow wins this conflict on defense, that would be, like, insane. Yeah, playing double fate, double one fate rival and both of them getting clouded and you don't get favor is pretty bad. So we see a Wayfinder on defense. This is pretty scary. Crane has two Keeper Initiates. If he wins this defense, then Phoenix literally just threw the game. Although, I guess uh, Phoenix still has Conjo. He's going to play Supernatural Storm, sure. 
doesn't actually do anything yet. There's a bonsai on Wayfinder. So he has to double bonsai here, but he has plenty of honor, so who cares? Yeah, arrival one fade is something you do when you want to close the game soon or making a big impact with it, for sure. Wait, wait, he passed. No! Why did he pass? He has Conjo. Oh my gosh, that, that's that got to be like the biggest misplay of all time. <laughs> Crane gets the Keeper Fate and two Keeper Initiates. Oh my gosh. Now Crane's just going to take favor. He doesn't even have to... So yeah, he attacks Void here. Wait. Yeah, so he just attacks Void at Before the Throne. Wait, what's the other province? Fire? <laughs> Man, chat is going crazy. Yeah, this is amateur bracket, but it is the finals. Uh, okay, shameful, sure. Uh, so this is actually bad for Crane, unless he has a conflict character. You can shameful this and then conjo the honored one. Uh, that's, of course, assuming that he remembers that he has conjo district, which seemed like he didn't in the last conflict. If he had used Conjo there, then this game would just be over, right? Like, Phoenix would be so far ahead. Yeah, in the past, Amateur had some pretty good players in top four. That's definitely true. Wait, he passed? What? Has he literally just forgotten that he has Conjo? I think, I think he literally forgot about Conjo. Like, he, he had... Okay, there's Steward of Law, so I guess it didn't matter. Um, but, like, he had he had three opportunities to use Conjo District this turn, and he passed all of them. Uh, I guess he could still use it here to prevent the break. <laughs> yeah, this is this is something... Okay, he does finally use Conjo, but there's a fine katana on the keeper initiate. <laughs> He's playing a fawning diplomat from hand, yeah. Maybe. So yeah, he's just going to have to let Shameful break, it looks like. And we see a Voidering on Sukune there. Man, that that is so bad for Phoenix. Like... Ooh! <laughs> we get the spicy winds of change so that Sukune can resolve two rings here. That's actually pretty good. This line also shows that he wouldn't have won that air conflict. Wait, why wouldn't he have won the air conflict? He still would have won. Crane would have needed another card. He was three. Yeah, winds of change. Pretty crazy. He was three, you uh, you conjo the Wayfinder who got bonsai, then he plays the Stuart, and the Katana is three to three still. 
plus like you just need to do that anyway right so that because if, if he gets those keepers that's just like so bad so yeah if if phoenix can somehow survive this turn then he should be okay let's check what's under his stronghold because the whole crane board's gonna clear right Ooh, it's rally to the cause that's actually really good wow and he discards conjo district Looks like Crane wanted to discard those. Had Conjo and just yeah, like he had he had Conjo on a five strength province and he just literally just gave it up. That is something I have not seen before. Uh so yeah, but Rally to the Cause is good. It's gonna mean that he can't just uh smash into it with these political rivals. He's gonna have to do a poke first. Do they refill? Won't refill. Goal will be to confuse the chat. Sounds good. Yeah, I know that it does refill them in the regroup phase at some point. But I'm not sure what point that is, so we it might be too late. Might have to discard the top two cards of Dynasty and play it manually, yeah. This is, uh, this is bad. <sighs> Reshuffles afterwards. Send me the password, all right. Let me just turn this off.
Uh, where's shoot? Also, what is the password? Um, All right, shoots here. Oh yeah, shoot is a league admin. I forgot. Still hiding my screen. So what do you guys think about that new Phoenix spoiler? It's pretty not very good, huh? All right, let me let me Unmute the stream, the screen. Looks like we're working on it. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Like, if you were going to run that, you would just run Radiant Order, right? Or you could just play Harmonize. Yes, it goes with waning hostilities. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Tell him to refresh, yeah, it looks like shoot already said that. Guests and Yoshi are top two. Whew.
we need like some manual commands for this or something. I think the problem is just oh, hey, we're doing it. Now we just have to flip them. <clears throat> Good thing shoot is handling this so I don't have to do anything. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Handsome Dan. It's about to accidentally reveal the province. Um... So, Handsome Dan, did you decide when you're playing your next game? I feel like you might have posted about it already. But I can't remember. In an hour and a half, okay, yeah. Oh, I hope this game ends soon so I have time to go get food. Just do what I do, don't eat. That's what I usually say. What I do need to do though is I need to get water. So my water bottle is almost empty. That would be pretty unfortunate if we had to 
do a rematch or have a concede. Yeah, we can manual Yoshi, but you can't manual Guest. Um, so he finds one in the Dynasty deck. Okay. Alright, so it looks like this is going to be acceptable. <coughs> Puts one fade on it. And he passes. You don't actually, yeah, you don't actually need manual mode on uh, to adjust your fate and honor. What's happening in chat? Did something happen to cause the breakage? Yeah, he he misclicked the discard. Yeah, I mean I don't know, I probably didn't have to go this way but it is what it is we're here now just gotta keep going yeah he can still play his without manual mode uh, is he gonna play the scout yes he is Yeah, I mean, hopefully the game ends next or this turn so that we don't have to worry about any of that, but I don't know. We'll see. There's Fearsome Mystic, so Crane should pass now. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, it's annoying, but... Can't go back now. Just have to keep going. Uh, so Phoenix probably going to play this Tsuki. Ooh, zero fate. Mm. Yeah, but I, th I think we probably won't make it to the next turn, right? Like... Crane is just going to break the stronghold, I imagine. Uh, you go with Cautious Scout first, you attack Water. So he has to either... So Phoenix should probably... Oh no, he has Favor. Yeah, so he either has to defend with two characters, or you get to bow Tsukune. Uh, we see a Steward of Law. Um, he could throw the Steward of Law in there. Forces a slightly bigger defense. He would have to defend with either 
three characters or two characters who are higher skill or just Sukune. Uh, okay, Soul Beyond Approach to honor Tsuki. Cool. Oh, another one to honor the Fearsome Mystic. Yeah, so he's just playing all his cards here. We're gonna try as hard as he can to defend this. You could defend with me a Mystic. I think you want to defend with me a Mystic for the first attack so that you can kill the Spyglass. I still feel like Phoenix is just gonna lose here though, right? We'll see what he can do. He can't, oh, he's not gonna be able to play events though, right? Because of the Guest of Honor. Hmm. I mean, let's count. We got eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Uh, this is nine, so 21. And then we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 19, 20. Rally might slow things down. Yeah, I mean, he's just going to attack it with the scout, right? Uh, then you have box. Phoenix can't play events. Yeah, I mean, it might be tough. Yeah, watering first, definitely. You could even... I think you should go with Scout because he has military but no political. Yeah, you don't want Phoenix to attack with water. Plus, you want to force him to defend or you bow the Tsukune. So, water is just the best choice here. Yeah, I agree with Handsome Dan. Um, I think you win the game that way if you do that, but we'll see what kind of tricks Phoenix has. So yeah, military, wait. Ooh, he's going fire, I don't like this. It does have two fate on it, I guess. Um, maybe he just wants to get some fate, but that means the ethereal dreamer that got used on fire can defend this, but I guess he probably won't. Agree with Dan, but he just repeated what I said. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I agree with both of you. Ooh, he is defending with the Ethereal Dreamer. He's going to try to win, maybe? Uh, if you do this, I think you throw the Mia Mystic in there. Yeah. I think it would be a good idea to go water. Yeah, it definitely seems like it. Um, I guess this way, if he defends, you still get the two fate. But now Phoenix can attack water. I guess Phoenix attacking water isn't too scary because he just bows a rival. So that's, he's trading one skill for three. That's only a plus two, not the end of the world. 
Uh, you could even you could even defend with the keeper initiate that has the katana if he goes military and he doesn't have enough skill. And he he, I mean I I guess he could just go political with a character that has at least three. We'll see what happens. Phoenix should attack Earth. Yeah, that is actually true. I agree with that. Earth is probably the best ring for Phoenix here. Uh, that forces some kind of defense so that Crane doesn't lose that. So yeah, we see defense with four and a pass. There's a fine katana. You could supernatural storm now if you want. I would probably Supernatural Storm at some point here because, like, yeah, you might as well, right? Maybe not this conflict, but could do it on the Earth attack. Losing the firing is not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I would save Storm for the attack, for sure. Political Earth with Sukune. Trust that an opponent won't put Guest in, and then Clarity, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he has to have it in hand, though. So, Okay, so Crane is going to win that conflict. There's the Dishonor on Sukune. Too bad he doesn't have Covert. Yeah, so again, I think the Earth Ring is the correct choice here. Um, you could just go... Hmm. You could go political with, like, Tsuki or Tsukune, maybe. Yeah, it it, it is actually possible that Crane doesn't have enough stats to win. Um but it depends on what's in his hand. Uh, well, Crane won't be able to covert anybody as far as I know because he doesn't have any coverts currently. Yeah, both of the rivals are clouded. Um, let's see. Looks like he's going military earth here. So again, going military does mean he could defend with this Keeper Initiate, which with the Katana and the, and the Favor, that's four skill, but he's attacking with four here, so... Plus he has the Supernatural Storm.
Yeah, guest can't prevent the scholar bow. That's true. Ooh, he only attacked with the solemn scholar. Uh, so yeah, he's probably gonna play storm here. So that'll be four to seven. Yeah, I don't know if Grain can win this. Well, you can't assassinate it because it has above question. And Mystic was wasted? Well, he didn't have a Mystic. Did he? Yeah, Crane hasn't drawn a Mystic. Talisman into Frostbitten into Assassinate. That would be insane. Uh, he's going to defend with the Guest of Honor. Which does prevent him from playing that Supernatural Storm, but he will still be able to play it in the next conflict. Yeah, this is interesting. Oh, he attacked Magistrate Station, okay. Yeah, so that makes sense then. Now he can just stand up the guest. So that that might actually running into magistrate station there might actually seal this game for the Phoenix player. Man, this game yeah, so I think Crane has this now. Like, he gets to put guests in here. Phoenix has four or five. Uh, he's going political, right? So, 14. Crane has. He should discard this by glass here. So, it'll be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20. So, winning by 6. Yeah, that's shameful display. Uh, so yeah, he's winning by enough to break, so Phoenix would need, like, an attachment. And he still has the stronghold. Yeah, this game should be over, right? 19 to 14? Did I miscount? Oh, he didn't discard the Spyglass? Hmm, that's weird. He didn't discard the Spyglass with the Amiya Mystic. Uh, so Crane will get to draw a card, and he has 21 skill here. Yeah, it looks like that's gonna be that's gonna be it here. Couldn't couldn't attack Shameful Display. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, wow. Uh, so. If a cloud might be in hand, well, if a cloud was in hand, he would have played it sooner. Right, like you just cloud guests and then break magistrate station. Yeah, so congratulations to Jincito, the crane player here. He is the winner of the season 10 amateur bracket. Round of applause for him. Do a clapping. Here we go, hold on. Clapping wug there. Hadn't even Yoshi'd yet, yeah. Yeah, Crane just had that.
there at that point. Um, yeah, so he will be our winner for Season 10. Crane versus Phoenix, uh, pretty interesting. Those are both clans that have not won the actual cup. Let me let me check the amateur bracket stats here. We had two scorpions, and I'm guessing this is a scorpion as well. So it looks like this is actually the first non-scorpion to win the amateur bracket, which is pretty neat. I'm gonna get a crane in there. Um, hopefully we don't get another scorpion in this actual season ten cup, but we'll see. I'm I'm hoping it's either Lion or a Phoenix. Handsome Dan and Evan are both in it still, and they're both really cool players, so I'm hoping one of them win. If both of them make it to finals, that would be pretty cool. Crane has one cup. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't really count Season 1 as much, because it was, like, it was Season 1, but... Uh, they haven't won the amateur bracket. Amateur bracket has been all scorpions. Oh, was he on Phoenix last season? I just assumed he was scorpion because of his name. Let me see. Yeah, he was on Phoenix, actually. So that's good that Crane won, then. That means we get a new clan winning the amateur bracket. We have two Scorpions, a Phoenix, and a Crane now. But yeah, that's going to be it for this game. So again, congratulations to the winner, and thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys soon for the Handsome Dan game, it looks like.